Hello and thanks for joining me in the first installment of the Formotus training video series where I'll be showing you the basics on how to get started with your Formotus service. First on our agenda is creating a form which we have started for you. You will find a free starter form available at formotus.com slash starter form which I'll be using throughout this video series so you can follow along with me step by step. Once you have gone to formotus.com slash starter form you will be prompted to save the XSN file. Please do so in a folder you can easily find in the future. To open your starter form, right click the form and select design to open it in InfoPath. Once you have opened your form, you will see a table titled form name above a second table with a list of instructions that you are welcome to read through, but for the sake of the video, I will right click the table and delete it along with the text inside our main table to make room for some controls. I will begin creating our form by adding some popular controls including a text box, a date picker, and a drop down list box. Let me show you a couple tips to customize your form. You can add a placeholder to your text box by right clicking the control going to text box properties display and for this example I will enter name and select OK when on the device the placeholder disappears when you begin typing inside the control now let's go to the drop down list properties we can add values simply by selecting add entering any values and selecting OK when on your device this allows you the option to select any value you added in your drop down list. You may have noticed that each control corresponds to a field name. You can change this by right clicking the control, going to properties, and changing the field name. This makes it easier to spot and is more organized when you have a lot of controls. Because the Formotus service is very popular with companies who do inspection work, I will change the form name to inspection. Lastly, I'm going to make some quick cosmetic changes. I will control select all three controls, right click and change the font size to 14. Then right click again, go to properties and change the width of the controls to 400 pixels. This will make the form more user friendly once it's on the device. Now let's save the form by going to file, save as and changing the file name. As I mentioned before, I will continue to use this same form throughout the training video series, including the next video in which I will show you how to upload, deploy, and use your starter form on a device. Thanks again for joining me. Feel free to visit formotus.com for more information.